a blessing that uh, unfortunately too many be too many believers overlook and uh, do not take enough of an account of the prayers that we speak for others have impacts and results that we will never know until the other until we get to the other side of eternity and those prayers of intercession that we speak on behalf of others uh, have impacts on lives they change circumstances uh, they benefit others so I'm so delighted you know that you are doing that not only for me but for all the other listeners and I would just hope that uh, that those who are out there listening uh, who are in the first place uh, focused on the prayer ministry to start with <laughs> would uh, apply that to their own lives and uh, speak those prayers for <laughs> others uh, during the day and at other times uh, during their uh, activities so that uh, the blessings of God would be flowing to people that uh, don't even realize that they are being uh, that they're out benefiting from the prayers of others. So it's a wonderful thing, and I thank you so much, Pastor, you know, for what you've done, and I hope that uh, your uh, your, your uh, example will uh, motivate others to, to do the same. So thank you so much, and I'll talk to you next hour. And uh, I want to thank the Lord that all of the equipment was down in my dwelling not one bit of it working. And now every bit of it is working perfectly. I thank God that I'm standing at my home able to see how God can be a present help in time of trouble. I thank God for that. I truly do. Amen, and I'm sure that uh, not only myself, but everyone else who's listening is uh, rejoicing that the Lord has uh, caused that to happen, and that the uh, ministry is now uh, back up online and ready to go. So uh, thank you so much, Pastor, and uh, as I said, I'll speak to you next hour. Looking forward to that moment. God bless you. Bye, sir. And um, the phone number for the broadcast is... And I'm going to ask the station again, how many calls do we have? All right, and... Uh, Taking our next call, but uh, we need calls to be coming in when we enter that second hour. Taking the call that's now, God bless, you're on the air. Yes, go right ahead and speak up. You have to speak up because you're on the air at this time. Why can't you speak up? Good morning, Pastor Bobo. Oh, am I glad to have you speak up. Go right ahead. Uh, Pastor Bobo, I'm calling in for prayer this morning for wisdom and perfect health. You pray the prayer that we all need to pray. I thank God. Do you think you could ever pray it yourself so that we could all just be glad to hear you pray it? Uh, Pastor Bobo, I took my medication already, so uh, I probably couldn't do it tonight. All right, dear God, and be with this one, and I'm asking that you would give him wisdom. And God, I'm asking that you would give him perfect health, that you would touch his body, 
and bring this body on into the fullness of your blessing. Minister in this moment, and we shall thank you. Bring us further, but give this one wisdom and perfect health, but extend that prayer to all of us. And God, I'm asking for myself that you would give me wisdom and perfect health. Give me that, dear God, I pray. Bring us further than where we are. Change for the better going forward. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Bring us further in a blessed manner. In Jesus' name, grant it, God, we shall thank you. And uh, the phone number for the broadcast that will quickly be in the second hour, 313-838-1035. And uh, that phone number again, three. Taking our next call, God bless, you're on the air. Praise the Lord, Pastor Mogul. May he bless, guide, and keep us all in his wonderful, loving care. Pastor, would you pray for my two grandsons and their family, as well as two, my two great-grandsons, and one prayer, dear that the Lord would bless, guide, and keep the unspoken prayer request. Could you pray that prayer and we could all just say amen? Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day <clears throat> with praise, honor, and glory in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your Son, dear Lord, who made our salvation possible. We thank you for his gift of obedience and love to the Father. And we pray, dear God, that you would bless us with that same obedience and love that we might serve you in spirit and in truth. I pray, dear God, and ask your blessing upon my family, my two grandsons and their family. I pray for their life. I pray for their salvation. I pray for them peace of mind, health and strength, and total obedience to you, their Lord and Master. I pray for my two great-grandsons as well, and for their mothers who are raising them as single mothers. I pray, God, that you would just give them incentive to seek out a place of worship, a place where they can 